Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Before I get this video started, I wanted to say uh, thanks to all of those of you who have told me that Engineering Shock is currently down. Uh, I noticed it after uh, someone had mentioned it to me. I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm trying to get it back up as we speak. Hopefully it'll be back up within a week. But uh, in the meantime, just check out ElectronicLessons.com and that'll show you what kind of stuff we have in our eBay store. Anyway, this, my friends, is the standalone voice recognition module. It's named the ES6928P, and what it does is it talks to you. It tells you how to work it. It tells you everything you need to know, and if you get tired of my voice, you unplug the speaker. It just plugs into the board. They're similar to the RFID modules we have, the standalone RFID modules. You don't need to plug this in your computer. You program it by hand, and there's four outputs, with each with a ground and with a signal. Each output corresponds to a programmed voice command. You can reprogram at will. There's an onboard EEPROM that saves those commands after you power off. There's a lot to it, so let's go through a quick demonstration. Now I'm not going to put any of the uh, plugs on the outputs right now because I'm, I'm going to show you a circuit demonstration of how to use this. I'm going to be making application videos all week for this. Uh, but as soon as you take it out of the box and you plug it in, plug in your speaker, and you power it up for the first time, what will happen is um, uh, it will say, unit not trained, uh, please please enter a command, and uh, actually I'll just show you, but on power up, because it's not starting up in the default position, what I'm going to do, and I'll tell you how to do this later, is I'm going to press the buttons in a certain order. I'm going to press button 1, and I'm going to hold it, and it's going to say synchronize, and what that means is it's telling me to enter in the uh, the program code. And the program code is 233214. So uh, in order to set it into programming mode, I have to press 1 until it says synchronize, then 233214. So let's do that. Enter scanning mode. Synchronize. Enter program mode. Please press a key to train a command. Enter program mode. Please, catch please press a key to, to train a command. Now, if you want to com uh, only program in one or two, then what you do is you program those commands, and then you press button two and four at the same time and hold it down, and it'll enter scanning mode again. If you make some changes to the program that you're not happy with, uh, press the button back here. It'll enter you back into scanning mode without you having to worry about those cha uh, changes being made. So what's going to happen is there's a few different things to talk about here. I'm not going to... This isn't going to be the complete... Uh, uh, manual, online manual. Uh, I'm going to make a full video showing this, but right now I'll just give you a quick demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press a button. It'll say, please uh, say command 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. And then it'll ask you to say it again so it can do a software compare to make sure that they're, that they're close. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to say commands 1, 2, 3, 4. Please say command 1. 1. Please say again. 1. Please press now that's the output one will go high for 0 0.5 seconds when it hear when it's in scanning mode and it hears me say one. Now I'll do two. 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 Three. Three. So let's try with four. I'm going to say red and. High five. Four. Red. Again. High five. Okay, so it didn't match. Four. Four. So just so I'm talking, I'm going to be I'm just powered off so I can talk a bit about that. If you don't say anything, it'll say no voice detected. If uh, if you do, if if both commands do don't match, it'll make you start again until you have two commands that make sense. And if there's too much noise around you, it'll say too noisy. So anyway, I'll plug it back in and we'll play with it because it'll enter us automatically in scanning mode. And again, it, once you take this out of the, the uh, ESD bag for the first time, power it up. Since there's no uh, nothing trained, it'll automatically start you off in training mode. So I'll plug it back in. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. Three. Two.
two, four, three, one. The LEDs below the output sockets uh, are not connected to the outputs. They're just visual indicators. What I like to do is, uh, you know, if you're making a security circuit, a fun circuit, you're not always going to want to hear me talking. Um, so what you do is after you program it, unplug the speaker, put the speaker aside, and if you want a visual indicator, you got your LEDs. But interface it with your circuit. I'm going to show you a toggling circuit, a cool toggling circuit that I made in a minute. But you've got your onboard microphone. It comes with the little speaker that plugs directly onto the board. It has four buttons, uh, very easy to use. Uh, I showed you how to how to uh, how to uh, program it and reprogram it. There's an onboard EEPROM, so after you power it off, your commands are still saved in there. It comes with four connectors, so you can interface with your well, whatever circuit you want, your Arduino, your PIC, your Stamp, your TTL project. Very easy to use. Very proud of this. I'm going to make a lot of add-ons for this in the near future and uh, maybe make different revs. Have a, I have a lot, a lot planned for this. So uh, let me just uh, show you how, to make, oh, how I made a toggler. I'm going to make a fireworks uh, detonator using voice, and I'm going to use make a combination lock. Uh, I'm going to drive some relays with it. Uh, you, the possibilities are endless. You can drive a solenoid, make your own uh, lock system with it. I might interface it with a, a keypad, so I have to add keypad and voice recognition. It's pretty neat. Now, one thing you want to note is that uh, you want to make your commands a bit more complicated. They're limited to about 1.5 seconds. Uh, so you want to, like, a good one would be quantum physics, or I've had enough, or I love you, mom, or this thing is so cool. That might be pushing it. But if I, in the case where I put one, two, three octopus, uh, if I said bun, it might false activate the output. For two, if I say boo or crew, it might give, give it false uh, activation. If three, tree, brie, I might get a false soap, a false uh, trigger. So you want to make them more complicated. However, they are limited. Octopus, the emphasis is always on the last syllable. I mean, there's still emphasis on the first syllables, because you, um, but the most emphasis I found that is is with this specific uh, voice recognition chip is on the last syllable. Anyway, when I make more videos, you'll get to see uh, all the different sides to this. Let me show you how to do it. Let me show you how I did a toggler. What I've got here is a toggler circuit, and what this does is if I say uh, the right combination of uh, commands, in this case, uh, output two and output one in that order within a certain amount of time, uh, the LED will toggle. I'm going to use this in a fireworks detonator outside, uh, and I'll actually be making that video pretty soon. So, uh, I don't want to false activate the circuit here, uh, so I'm going to quietly say the sequence of numbers. Output 1 is 64, output 2 is 75, output 3 is 44, and output 4 is 102. So I have to say 75 and 64 in that order, and quickly, in order for the LED to toggle. 75. Sixty-four. Now, if I try in a different order, one hundred two. One hundred two. Forty-four. Seventy-five. The LED will stay toggled. But if I say the same toggle code again, seventy-five. Sixty-four. The output toggles. So that's going to be a safety. Uh, if I say it too slowly, if I say uh, put, if I say 75 and then wait a minute and I say 64, uh, it will not toggle. There's a time, a time setting. So it's basically a safety, a safety feature because I'm going to be using this with fireworks. 75. Output two. 64. Output one. See, it didn't toggle, but if I say it faster. 75. Output two. 64. Output one. It toggles. Anyhow. Uh, I'm going to turn this off now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, again, I'm very sorry that engineeringshock.com is currently out of commission. I'm having a lot of troubles getting it back up. I don't know if there's this problem with my server or if I've been hacked. But I'm trying to get it back up again. But in the meantime, check out... Uh, this should be available very soon once I get the, all the documentation order at, uh, engineering sh or at, at electroniclessons.com and uh, engineeringshock.com. And hopefully I'll have engineeringshock.com back up soon.